Hello, everybody. Hold on, let me bring my laptop up so I can watch the comments as you come on. Be sure you say hello when you come on. Let me know that you're here. And I need to do a refresh on my laptop. Hope everybody's doing well today. We've got a bright, sunny, hot day here in Arkansas today. We've got a heat advisory out for us. Okay, and of course my orientation isn't right. Oh, why? We may have to go with it this way. Let me see. Does that bring it so it's right side up? Yeah. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff today. We're just going to go with it. It's wanting to be stubborn, so let it be stubborn. Can everybody see that okay? It's a little bit crooked, but let's see if I can fix that. Just gonna scooch my camera over a little bit, moving my stand, so excuse the arms and everything in there. Looks good, okay. All right, we're just gonna go with it as is. I don't like it this going this way, going portrait. I wanted to go landscaping, but we're just gonna go with it because I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff today. All right, I want to welcome you to Creating Cards with Debbie. Um, if you want to shop with me, uh, you can shop in my store at www.debbiefoster.stampinup.net. And that's also in the description of the video, if you missed that. And for June, we still have a couple days left yet. So the June host code for 2023 is G3G7H7GJ. And that's also in the description of the video. And if you have any questions or any concerns or you just want to ask me a question or comment on anything, you can reach me at my email address at creatingwithdebbie179 at gmail.com. All right, I'm just going to set some of this stuff aside, make sure it's not in my way later. Okay, and like I said, it's June and... Stampin' Up! has a promotion going on in June, a couple of them, and one of them is our designer series paper. Oops, let's see, this isn't going to show the whole thing. Let me go this way then. And let's see. I guess that's kind of. Uh, with our designer series paper until June 30th, you can get 15% off on the price. So I think there's like... Uh, one, two, three, four, there's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen different packs that are on sale for 15% off. So you want to um, stock up on any designer series paper that you might be wanting. It's a good deal with 15% off. Um, Stampin' Up! doesn't run those specials very often on the paper, so it's a good chance to get stocked up. I know I have been. And also for June, um, until June 30th, you can get your starter kit, which is you pay $99, you get free shipping, and you get to receive $155 worth of products. And you get to join my team. And if you don't want to do like I do, you can just be a um, hobbyist, where you can get a discount on all your, your future pr products that you order. And that's a savings of 20% each time you order, so that's another added benefit. But um, Stampin' Up! usually only has the kits for $99, but you only get $125 worth of products. So we're getting an extra $30 this month. So if you have any questions on that, be sure you reach out to me. And there's also a link on my uh, description of the video here that you can click on, and that will take you right to the site to sign up and along with being a 
a discount shopper or a demonstrator. Um, you also get the benefit of all my upline. So you get free training and you get um, team meetings and all sorts of stuff. So it's a lots of fun. So it's not just me that you're with. You're with other demonstrators also. So you get the benefit of learning from everyone. So I just wanted to put that out there for you. And Paper Pumpkin until July 10th. You can sign up. It's for Take Your Crafting to the Next Level with Fun Summertime Accordion Fold Cards. And it says Fun in the Sun. Paper Pumpkin Kit from June 11th until July 10th. You can sign up. It says Get Tanning and Crafting in the Sun this Summer. Say hello to summer and get crafting under the sun with this month's kit. The Fun in the Sun Paper Pumpkin Kit includes fun beach designs along with positive words of kindness you'll want to use and share with those you love all summer long. Take your cards to the next level with the fun summertime theme and accordion folds in this kit and send friends and loved ones uplifting cards to support, encourage, say hello, and more. This month's kit includes all the supplies you need to create nine cards, three each, three designs, and nine coordinating envelopes, an all-occasion stamp set to support and encourage those you love, pearlescent back sequins, summertime ephemera pack, pre-cut die cuts, and one daffodil delight stampin' spot. And if you want to sign up for Paper Pumpkin, that uh, link is in the description of this video also, so... And if you have any questions on it, don't hesitate to either private message me or uh, send me an email to my email address. And I'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have. All right. And for beginner um, stampers, um, the paper pumpkin comes as an all-inclusive kit. So um, you'll get everything that you need. So it's lots of fun for the summer kids now when they're out of school. Um, or for somebody that's not real familiar with stamping or card making, it's a good way to get started. So, just a little FYI there. All right, I think that's all the business we have to go over today. Um, so let's get right on to our cards. And I know I kind of cut my video short last week because I was having a lot of technical problems. So we're going to kind of do a repeat of the card that we were working on last week. So I'm going to start all over so we can go step by step with each um, step of the card. So um, I hope you'll bear with me until we get to where you might have already seen it last week. But um, it's going to be using, this is the card, and here's the inside. It says, just wanted to say happy birthday. And on the outside it has a little hello sentiment right there. And I'm using Beauty of the Deep stamp set and dies. You can get that as a bundle. It's Beauty of the Deep stamp set, Beauty of the Deep dies. I'm glad that Stampin' Up! started calling both the dies and the stamp sets um, similar so we're not being confused of what they go with. <laughs> Makes it easier for us. And also we're going to use the Hello sentiment that comes from the Hello Ladybug. And this is the carryover from um, our last catalog, so really cute stamp set too. This has a punch that coordinates with it, uh, but we're not using that punch today. So um, let me just set these things aside, get my instructions out here, um, all of our bits and pieces and everything that we need. We're going to be using an assortment of stamp pads. We're going to be using Lost Lagoon, uh, Soft Sea Foam, Copper Clay, which is a new color, uh, Wild Wheat, which is another new color, and then a returning one that's Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon are both returning colors that they brought back. And we're using the dies, the deckled rectangle dies. I'm just trying to get everything out here before we get started. 
and uh, the stylish shapes dies we're going to be using the tiniest circle and our paper that we're using is the hello irresistible six by six designer series paper and you, that isn't in the catalog it's in the online exclusives so just go to my store and on the side column there you'll see online exclusives just click on that and that'll take you and it'll show all the um, things that are going on right now and they're going to be adding some more items um, July 6th so you want to kind of watch that and there's some really good stuff coming out so I'm really anxious to see that all right so let's get started here um, I'm going to be using every single stamp that's in that stamp set, so <laughs> just getting everything out of the way here. And so here's all of our stamps that we're going to be using. So the whole thing is full. So we're going to be busy. This is going to take us a little bit, so I hope nobody's in no hurry today. So we're going to start out with our card base, which is Lost Lagoon. And that measures four and a fourth inches. I'm trying to get my bearings here ready. So it's four and a fourth inches by 11 inches. And then it's scored at five and a half inches. And we're just going to burnish that edge of our car base. And we're going to be going uh, landscape. We're not doing the portrait. We're going to do landscape. I've already die cut our designer series paper and I have used, where did I put my dies at? I used the largest deco rectangles, or no I didn't use the largest, did I? Yeah I did, I did, I used the largest die on that. So we're going to do some stamping on this to start with. So we'll go ahead and do that, get that out of the way, and then we'll go to our next steps. So I want to, let's see, uh, we're going to be using this stamp. And we're going to be using that with the wild wheat. But first we're going to start out with our Lost Lagoon. And we're going to do this long stem seaweed or whatever I guess it is. And let me scooch some things out of the way here so we have a little bit of room. And I'm just going to stamp that along the edge. Just making sure I'm in camera view here. And I'm going to do one on each edge, and then I'm going to do one in the center. All right, set that back in our container. And close up our glass lagoon. We'll go on to our next color, which is uh, the wild wheat. And we're going to stamp this little coral. And I'm going to do um, three of those. And as you'll notice, it doesn't cover the whole inked image, doesn't show. It's kind of, uh, uh, at least kind of little spots in between, but that's the way it's supposed to be. So don't get worried when you're stamping and it's not stamping right like you don't think it ought to. That's the way it's supposed to be. All right, then. Looking at my card to see what I'm missing here. 
All right, we're going to take our pretty peacock. And we're going to do this little leaf looking one here. And we're going to stamp him three times also. Um, one right there. And maybe another one right here. Close up our pretty peacock. And, and I'm going to use the copper clay. And I'm looking for my stamp. There it is. I'm not sure what these are. are. Those sea urchins, I'm thinking. I'm going to stamp three of those little guys at the bottom. And maybe another one right there to kind of fill that spot. I'm going to close that up. And I'm going to come back in with our Lost Lagoon. And I'm going to do some bubbles. So I want to stop, stamp it off one time to lighten it a little bit. And just kind of randomly stamp it. I get to stamp in here and can't remember if I stamped off or not. <laughs> That's okay, does it matter? Put it right there. All right. So it kind of looks like this. I don't know if it all shows up really well on the camera. All right. And I'm going to set my stamps aside for a moment. And we're going to bring in our baby boss. We're going to do some die cutting. Alright. We're going to take the smaller deckled. I think that's number one, two, three, four. Be number five from the largest size. And I'm just going to take my washi tape and hold this down in place so it doesn't move on me. And I'm out of camera view here. Let me switch over for a moment. And we're just going to kind of center that on there. Take our washi tape to hold it in place. And is that straight? That's straight. Our plates over here. Ooh. I'm gonna to have to go to the big machine and do this because this one won't fit through the baby bow. Oh, huh. So I'm just gonna get off camera and go over here and do it. So instead of trying to move my machine all over there, I'll just try to cut this really quick. And hope not to shake the table too much. All right, we got that. So I'm cutting out the center of our designer series paper with that guy. Carefully take that off.
And I think we're done with that for now. All right, and then I've taken our Lost Lagoon card stuff and I die cut with the next largest frame. And that's going to be glued to this. So we're going to glue that together. I'm using my liquid glue. And I'm just going to center that on the top of this layer. All right, then we're going to bring our card base back over here. And do this aside for a moment. And we're going to glue this right on our card front. So I'll put some more glue on the back of this. Looks like a picture frame. And I want to make sure I've got everything we're in the right direction. We don't want upside down. It's kind of hard to tell if it's straight or not because um, this die isn't exactly straight edges. So, even if you're off a little bit, it's not going to show, I guess. Alright, and this we want to put up on dimensionals. So let's bring our dimensionals over here. And I'm going to put one in each corner and then one in the center to help support the center of it. We don't want it sinking in the middle. And I'm going to take your pick tool to pop off those backings of those dimensionals and make sure you've got your design going the right direction that it matches it. Um, is this called spotlighting? This technique? I'm not sure. Um, where they kind of match up with each other but it's got a little card stack in between it. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to... Um, I've already stamped and die cut all of our images already to save a little bit of time. I've got two um, angelfish, and I've colored those using the uh, light and dark lemon lolly stamping blends. And then I've got three of these fish and I stamped those using the Pretty Peacock ink pad and then I die cut them. This fish is kind of wonky. We're going to get rid of that one and replace them with this one. I think my die moved on me when I was doing that. And um, okay, I have misplaced our, okay. And I've already die cut the circle of the Lost Lagoon cardstock, and then I heat embossed our hello on there with our white embossing powder. So I think that's all that goes on the front now. Yeah, so let's start gluing these guys down. And we're going to start with the these little guys. We're going to put two on this side and then one at the top. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of glue on each of them. And then we'll do our angel fish. I'm not doing the tail of the angel fish, I'm just doing the body itself. Um, but you could if you didn't want it flapping around in the ocean there. <laughs> and I put my 
right there. And this other little fish is going to go up in our right hand corner. He's the leader of the pack, I guess. <laughs> and then our hello circle. We're going to put that down here. And then our anchor was stamped using the copper clay ink pad. And just put some glue on the back of that. And we're just going to position that over the top of our sentiment circle. And then I've tied a double bow using our Baker's Twine. This is comes in a five pack. And I've got it right here. And you get different colors. And it's a Baker's Twine Essential Pack is what it's called. So that's in our annual catalog. This is kind of a beige looking color, so it's a uh, good neutral color. So I'm going to bring my uh, glue dots over and I think I'm going to use my mini glue dots which come in our paper pumpkin kits each month. Um, I think they're a little bit smaller than our regular mini ones are. So I'm going to use that to hold our ribbon down. And I'm going to put a little glue dot right in the center of that anchor. And then we can attach our bow with that. Okay, and to add a little bit of bling, we're going to add some rhinestones. Can never have too much bling, is what I say. And looks like my pack is getting kind of empty here, but we've got enough to get us through the day. So I'm going to put a medium one, uh, maybe right there, and then two smaller ones. I like to do them in odd numbers. I'm going to put one there, and maybe another one right here. And these are just the basic rhinestones, or rhinestone basic jewels is what they're called. Okay, so here's the outside of our card. So let's get started with the inside of our card now. So I've got a basic white, which is 4 inches by 5 and a fourth inches. And we're going to do our stamping on there. And we're going to bring over our leaf here and this one. And this one. Okay. So we're going to start out with our Lost Lagoon. finger in the ink there for a minute and we're just going to stamp that seagrass or whatever it is on the side close that up oh I'm going to use that for our sentiments um, and then we're using our wild wheat for our coral And we're just going to stamp that next to our seagrass. And this will lighten up too after it dries some, so it won't look so brownish. It'll be more yellowish. And then we're going to break down our Memento Black ink to stamp our starfish. And I just inked up my ink pads. I'm hoping that it's not a big glob. So let me lightly do this. Oh yeah, it's fine. And we're just going to do one angel fish. And 
put the cover on that ink pad or we'll have an accident going on here. And I didn't get my sentiments out. Um, Give me a moment, I gotta grab a stamp set that I forgot to get out. have to just go with um, happy birthday. I don't know what I did if I just wanted to say. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to switch this out a little bit and use the larger happy birthday. Block here, and I'm using the Lost Lagoon ink pad. And I'm just going to stamp that right there. Okay, that looks good. Close up our ink pad. And this, go to, this happy birthday comes from the Go To Greetings stamp set. It's another one of my favorites. So we're going to glue our inside panel to the inside of our card. Position that fairly straight. All right, there we go. So here's our first card. It says hello with our fishes. Happy birthday. So I hope you like that. Uh, let me. Some things moved out of the way here, so we go on to our next card. Let's make some room here. And I messed up my surface here, but that's okay. I'm gonna move my basket around here so I can get to my project. So we're going to be doing um, this layout with the three, but I'm going to be using the happy birthday instead, but we're not going to be using the hippo and the bear. But we're going to be using the pool party colors here. So it's just a little variation on my two cards here. So I'll let you see those while I get my bits and pieces out and get my instructions found here. Self situated. Um, and the paper that we're using is the Zoo Crew 12 by 12 designer series paper. And it's got all these little critters that you can fussy cut, and there are some dies that will cut them out too, so it just depends on which one you're picking out. All right, so we're going to move that aside for a moment, and I'll set it right there. And we're 
using Zany Zoo, it's, which is a bundle. It's the dies and the stamp set. And then I'm using um, the sentiment that comes from the Irresistible Bloom stamp set, the Hooray, It's Your Day. And this is one of the online exclusive stamp sets that you can only get there. You can't find it in the catalog. So we're going to move those aside and get started on our project. And we got three stamps that we're using on this one. So, and now we've got um, some stamping buns. We're using the Light Pecan Pie and the Light and Dark Bubble Bath, bubble bath Stamping Blends. I'm going to get all of our bits and pieces out here. And I've got a lot of the prep work done ahead of time, so it shouldn't take us very long. So that helps. You don't have to sit there and watch me die cut and stamp everything. Right. Um, okay, we do need to die cut something out of this one, though. But we're going to start out with our card base. which is our basic black, and that's five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and then it's scored in the middle at four and a fourth inches. So we're just gonna burnish that edge of our card, and we'll set that aside. Um, let me get my cards here so I can see. And then we've got Pool Party, um, which is four inches by five and a fourth inches. We've got a basic white that is three and three fourths inches by five inches, and I've embossed that using our basic, what are they called? Um, it's the basic 3D embossing folders. You get three of them in this, and that's on exclusive, online exclusive, it's only two, so. Um, but we're using the dotted one, one with dots. And then we've got another matte of black, basic black, which is four and five eighths inches by three and an eighth inch, three and one eighth inch. And then a basic white that is three inches by four and a half inches. So we can go ahead and glue these two together. And also we can glue our dots to our mat here, and I'm looking for my glue. And when you've got an embossed layer, I kind of like to use a little extra glue to make sure that it stays on. Um, sometimes it can get down in the grooves and lift itself up. So I put a little extra glue just to make sure. And we're just going to place that on that pool party mat. And then we're going to place that onto our card front. And I'm going to leave a black border going all the way around it. And I'm going to just set that aside for a moment. And we're going to work on our other layers and and we'll bring our baby boo boho over here and we're gonna die cut some things. We'll get all this gluing done first. So I'm just gonna set this right here for now. And then we're going to put the cap on my glue so that doesn't dry out. I'm going to bring uh, this layer of pool party over. I'm not sure what it measures. Um, but we're going to do some die cutting. And bring our dies back over here. It's like a little curtain that's in here. It's really cute. So it's like a, you can make a stage. So here's the dies. There's some that cut off the critters and some don't. 
But here's a little curtain, and then here's the wavy edge of the curtain. We're just going to do some die cutting and get those cut out. So let me put these back in the package so we don't have them flying all over the place. And we'll bring baby blue, opal blue over here to do her job. So we got the plates. Um, I'm thinking that's not going to fit. It will. I just need to cut it down a little bit. I'm going to bring my paper trimmer over here to make this smaller because it won't fit through our thing. I think it's like a three inch opening. I'm going to go with three and an eighth inches. Just cut out that little extra there. now. hope I didn't cut too much. I almost did, but it's going to work. Alright, kind of place that's done. I'm going to bring back my washi tape. Jiggle the table too much here. See, it's a little curtain. And then we'll do that again. Our other curtain. Put those in my magnetic bowl. Oops. And that didn't cut quite right, so we need to bring our paper snips over here. And trim that off a little bit. I guess it must have been right on the edge or something. But no harm. Becky, how are you doing today? Are you staying cool? I know here in Arkansas we're in a heat advisory. We're really hot the next couple of days. And here's the top of our little curtain. And I'm going to just put that along the edge. And bring our washi tape over here to hold that in place. I've got the washi tape stuck to my shirt. <laughs> it's taking off some of the tackiness. And at the top of the curtain. And we'll set baby bow hole over there out of our way. Bring our layer back over here, and I'm going to place my the top of my curtain down first. Extreme air pollution warnings from the fires. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I hate that for you, Becky. Oh, that's got to be awful. These Canadian fires are really 
bad anymore. I wonder when they're going to end. <laughs> All right, we're going to place that top of the curtain down along the edge of our white layer. I've got tape all over the place here. I need to get out of my way to stick into my arm. And then we're going to lay our little curtains down. And place that side curtain down, just down to the edge there, just so it's barely covering the white layer. And we'll do the same on the other side. Oh, my glue came out awful fast there. And matching the edge of that white, we're going to put that down. All right, so there's our stage. And... Okay, we've got some music notes here, but I want to place my critters down first so I know where to stamp those. So we're just going to lay down that step until we've got this all figured out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And we're going to bring our lens up here and do some coloring before we glue these guys down. This little frog, he's cute. So I've got bubble bath and I've got pecan pie. So pecan pie is going to be the center of our flowers on both of these little girls that are dancing. And I'm going to do the cheetah's little skirt. I'm going to outline the dark bubble bath first, and I'm going to do the belt with the dark. And I'm going to come back with the light bubble bath and do the remainder of her skirt. Yeah, I was having technical problems with my camera orientation this morning or this afternoon again, so I'm just I left it as is. I didn't want to fight with it. And I'm gonna come back with a dark bubble bath and I'm going to do the little lamb's flower petals with a dark bubble bath. I'm gonna leave the rest of her white. You don't always have to color everything on your images. You can leave some white. Um, so we're going to place a little cheetah right here. And we're going to place our lamb over here. And she's just really kicking up her heels. And we're going to put the frog standing over the curtain a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our glue onto our cheetah. And we'll stick her down. And I'm going to move her over just a tiny bit. And our little lamb. And I think I'm going to have her just over the curtain. Just a little bit on the edge right there. And then we're going to glue down this frog that's playing the flute. He's going to stand on top of the curtain. Alright, we're going to bring our black memento ink back over here. And just barely touching that, I'm going to stamp our little music notes. And I'm just going to do the three in the center. And then I also need to stamp our sentiments and maybe a scrap paper here. Will that fit on there? I think it might. I'm going to 
try this piece of scrap. If not, I'll have to grab a larger piece of basic white to stamp those in. But I'm going to try to make it work. And it does. Perfect. And... Oh, no, I did the wrong sentiment. It's supposed to be happy birthday to you. Okay, so I do need another scrap. Will that fit on there? Yeah, that'll fit. The hooray, it's your day. It's supposed to be for the inside. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. So... Happy birthday to you, and we're going to let that sit for a moment, let that ink dry because it's pretty wet. Um, I just inked up my ink pad, so uh, we can go ahead and attach this to our card front. And did I put that on dimensional? No, I didn't. I just glued it directly down. But you could put it on dimensionals, but it's already kind of thick layer, so you probably wouldn't want to do that unless you're hand delivering this card. It could get a little hefty for the post office. They don't like that. I want to make sure I'm going the right direction here. We don't want upside down cards. And I'm going to scoot you over just a tiny bit. So you're going to have a larger border on the top and bottom than what you do on the sides, but that's the way it was meant to be. And just making sure that's staying down there because we've got a lot of bumpiness going on there. To attach to. So there's our card. Um, we're going to bring over our paper snips and we're going to cut our words apart. So we're just going to cut in between all three of these layers. Be happy and then I'm going to oops, try to hang on to it we're going to angle cut the happy and same with the birthday we're all going to go the same direction on all of them oops Oops, I think I've got some glue on my fingers that are sticking to me. And to you, we're going to put both of those together. We're not going to separate those. All right. Get all of our extra pieces here. Throw those away. And bring our glue back over here. And I'm going to be happy right there at the upper portion of this, of our curtain. And I'm thinking. Trying to lay these out to see how I want them. How I want to lay them. So I think I'm going to put the two down there first. I think I could cut that off a little shorter. Less of an angle cut. Yeah. Shorten that up a little bit. Oops, I wonder I've got glue on my fingers. I'm just getting it all over myself. All right, to you. And then birthday in the center. And it's not down. Right about there. Okay, so happy birthday to you. And now we're going to, um, I'm not 
if I want to put any bling on there or not. I think I'm going to leave it as is. And we could put a little bit of Linka Stella onto maybe our flower petals just to bling it just a little bit. And maybe on their belt, waistband of their skirts. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, so let's work on the inside. And did I not put anything on the inside? I'm just looking at my card to see if I did. Okay. So I've got our basic weight, which is four inches by five and a fourth inches. And then I've got a strip of our pool party, which is um, I guess I don't have that measurement down. Oh, I do. It's a half inch by four inches. So that's gonna go. Where did I put that? I'm gonna put that on the side here. And we're going to Damp. Hooray, it's your day. So what did I do with that? Here it is. Hooray, it's your day. I'm going to kind of go off to the right side a little bit. And then I'm going to put some music notes in here along with that to help dress it up a little bit. And maybe some more right there. I'm trying to have black ink on me. And we're going to attach this to the side. I'm just going to put my glue right down on my white layer. And using my grid paper, I'm going to use that to help line it up. So that should help me get it straight. And we're going to flip that over and snip off those longer edges. And then we're going to put this on the inside of our card. It's starting to get warm in here. I turned my ceiling fan off because it was making some noise, so it was kind of irritating me. But now it's starting to get warm in here. Okay, so there's our card. Happy birthday to you. And the inside says, hooray, it's your day. And I've got something on my, my card right there. So I hope you enjoyed that one. It's just a little fun. And those don't have to necessarily be just for kids. I think even us grown-ups would appreciate getting a card with the little zoo animals on it. I think they're cute. All right. And how was our time? Um, I'm going to go ahead and do our third card, too. I was only going to do two at first, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do our third card. We've got time. And if you're in a hurry, you can come back and watch the replay if you don't want to sit and watch this one but uh, it says you're in my thoughts sending sunshine and good feelings your way and this is using one of our older stamp sets also which was a returning one and it's the in the moment stamp set we're using this image here and um, i need to clean up I didn't use that one. Okay. We're going to use this black. And I'm going to place our larger stamp on there for our inside sentiment. And trying to make some room. Let me get to my instructions here. some pieces out here and I'm using the thick 
basic white cardstock for our card base, and that's four and a fourth inches by 11 inches, and then it's scored in the middle at five and a half inches. So we're gonna go ahead and use our bone folder to burnish the edge of that. And let me make a little bit of room here. I've got a big mess here, which I'm glad you can't see all of it. <laughs> all right, and then I've got a layer of our blueberry bushel, which is four and an eighth inches by five and three eighths inches. And I went ahead and I embossed that already using um, It's one of these. Where did it go? Um, hmm. It's in the three pack of the basics 3D embossing folders. I don't know what I did with it. Um, but I'm using the crosshatch design. But I've already done that ahead of time to save a little time. And then I've got our designer series paper, which comes from, well, here's the embossing folder. I knew I had it somewhere. <laughs> uh, the designer series paper, which is the Glorious Gingham 6x6 designer series paper. And as you can see, it's uh, got multiple colors. It's got the blue, berry burst, blueberry bushel, which is, this is the blueberry bushel that we're using. Lemon Lime Twist, Pecan Pie, Pretty Peacock. And it doesn't have a large assortment of designs or patterns. It's just got the two different patterns. It's got um, this on one side, and then it's got the smaller checks on the other side, which I like that. It's kind of simple, and you don't have to make decisions. It's kind of limited, so you don't have a whole lot of choices. So it makes it easier sometimes. So our designer series paper is cut at four and an eighth inches by three inches. And that's gonna go across the bottom of our embossed layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. I wasn't gonna do three cards today, but then I changed my mind. I went ahead and designed this card at the last minute, so. Um, it's kind of simple. Sometimes we need simple. Becky, did you get your card made for your dad for the with the fishing one for Father's Day? I know we talked about that last week, so I was wondering if maybe you did. And then I've got a strip of the uh, blueberry bushel, which is a fourth of an inch by four and an eighth inches. And that's going to go right across the seam of our designer series paper. Instead of using ribbon, we're going to be using just the cardstock. So it looks like a ribbon. And we're just going to match that up with the edge of our designer series paper right at the very top. And go across. Oh, okay, yeah, I did one for my dad too. He liked it too. So. Glad he liked it. And then I'm trimming off that edges of that. And then I've got our basic weight. And I used the stylish shapes dies. And I'm using the largest square die to cut out our basic weight. And we're going to stamp our little girl sitting at the window having a cup of coffee. And I just inked up this ink pad earlier and it is really, it's inky now. <laughs> so let's stamp that onto our white layer, our white square. And set her aside and I'm going to set that aside and let that ink dry a little bit and I also um, die cut using uh, one of the banners out of that same die set the styly shape dies and that's going to be our sentiment for at the bottom and I already die cut that and hopefully I can uh, stamp on here straight I know I'm 
having a terrible time earlier trying to stamp the sentiments. I did a few ahead of time, so just in case. And that's not too bad. We'll go ahead and keep that one. You're in my thoughts. And this comes from the... Well, that same stamp set, the sentiment out of there. And we'll end up with the stamp set. Okay. Yeah, it's you're in my thoughts. We put the lid on our ink pad before we drop something in it that shouldn't be dropped into it. So we're going to set that aside for a moment. We're going to bring in our blends and we're going to um, do some coloring. And I'm not going to color the whole image. I'm only going to color just her pants, uh, one pillow, and then her hair barrette there. And I'm using the light boho blue and the dark boho blue. So we're going to start out with the dark boho blue and we're going to outline her her pants. I'm just going to do the belt with the dark and all where the images are stamped we're going to fill those in with the dark and her pocket of her pants. And the same with the pillow. We're going to do just the one pillow. We're not going to do both pillows, just the one. And then we're going to come back in with the light boho blue. And uh, color in her pants and the pillow. And her barrette that's in her hair. So I'm going to I'm going to do the outline here and I'm going to come back with the brush end of my Stampin' Blend to fill it in. It goes a little faster. I like to use the nubby ends when I go around my edges so I make sure I don't go out of the lines. And I'm going to do a brat with the black and the dark. So. Color her pants with the brush end of our blends. And I've over it a couple of times because it seems like it's soaking into the paper, so let's have a good coverage. And the pillow. Trying not to go out of lines. And we bring back that dark boho blue and we're going to do her barrette that's in her hair. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for coloring. And we're going to place that up on dimensionals. So use my dimensionals here. I just had them right here, and I'm gonna place one in each corner, and then one in the center to hold it so it doesn't sag on me in the middle. I don't like saggy middle middles. And I take your pick tool. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this down to my card front before I start placing things on there. And like the other one, when I do the embossing folder layers, I put a little extra glue to make sure it stays. And there's a small border going around. straight and take your pick tool to pop off those dimensional backings okay and then we're going to place that 
um, upper center. And open that straight. And then we're going to place some small dimensionals under this one. So let me bring those out. We've got two sizes of dimensionals. We've got large and then we've got small. And the small ones work good when you've got a um, smaller area. Let's bring that back over here to pop off those backings. And we're going to place that along the bottom edge. And make sure it's straight. Hopefully. All right, and then next, uh, for a little bit of bling, we're going to use the opaque ovals. And we're going to use the boho blue color. two sizes. We've got the large and the small. So we're going to take a large one and we're going to place that top corner. And a small one at the bottom right hand corner. And another one we'll place at this corner. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, so there's the outside of our card. And we're going to stamp the inside. And I'm going to stamp that directly onto our card base, unless I mess it up, and then I'll have to put a layer in there. But we're going to hope for the best here. So let's bring our larger stamp here, and we'll ink that all up. That's where the stamparatus was good, because we could position it and have we could stamp it again if we needed to, so I missed that. Um, I hate that they took it away from us. Well, yeah, they discontinued it, I should say. <laughs> so we're going to stamp this um, in the center. I'm just going to let that sit there for a moment to make sure it soaks up all the ink that I want it to. And that looks good. It's a, a good first time. <laughs> And make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers. Okay, so there we have our third card. It says, you're in my thoughts. And sending sunshine and good feelings your way. And that comes from um, the good feelings stamp set. And this was another carryover from our last catalog. Um... I think I've got everything covered today. Um, let me kind of clear off my area here and see if I can't fit all three cards in the same time here. Being my layout is a little bit different today. Okay, and there's our first card. Let me see what I can fit in here and what I can't. See how far up I can go. Get everybody in the screen. See my mess right there. Okay, so maybe we'll be in luck here. Uh, let me take up this paper because it kind of throws it off. It's kind of messy. We could throw that away anyway. And let's do this again. this a little bit more. It's wanting to come up and on me. Okay, so is that a good view? It looks like it might be a good view. Okay, so there's our three cards today, and I want to apologize again for last week. Um, I guess it just wasn't meant to be for some reason, all the technical problems I had. 
but I didn't let it bother me this time. I just went with it this time the way it's wanting to be portrait instead of landscape. So um, be sure that if you're watching me later on YouTube, I'll be loading this later today onto YouTube. Um, be sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and also like and share the video on there also and plus on Facebook do the same um, click and the like and then hit the share button also to share it with your friends and be sure to tell your friends and family about me that I go live every Wednesday at one o'clock central time and I usually try to do three cards every week but unless they're more engrossed and more complicated then I'd only do two but it's usually always three cards a week that I do so I want to thank you for being here today everybody have a safe fourth of July um, be safe um, be careful of those fireworks um, being crafters we don't we need our fingers to be able to do crafting so um, just be careful <laughs> Uh, but until next week, which will be, um, I think it's July 5th, is the day after the 4th of July. Um, yes, July 5th. I should be going live, so unless something comes up that I'm not able to, but for now, I'll see you next week, July 5th at 1 o'clock Central Time. So, again, thank you for being here. And... Y'all have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye-bye.